the rate of production of estrocytes is controlled by the hormone erythropoietin, which is produced largely in the kidneys when the number of circulating red cells decreases or when the oxygen transported by the blood diminishes. An undefined sensor detects that change, detects that change and production of erythropoietin is increased. The substance is then transported through the plasma to the bone marrow, where it accelerates the production of red cells. The erythropoietin mechanism operates like a thermostat, in thermostat, increasing and decreasing the rate of red blood cells, reduct production and accordance with need. When a person who has lived at high altitude moves to a sea level environment, production of erythropoietin is suppressed. The rest, the rate of red blood cells production declines, and the red cell count falls until the normal sea level values is achieved with the loss of one pint of blood. The erythropoietin mechanism is activated. Red cell production is enhanced, and within a few weeks. The number of circulating red cells has been restored to the normal value. The precision of control is extraordinary so that the number of new red cells produced accurately compensates for the number of cells lost or destroyed. Estropoietin has been produced in vitro outside the body by the technique of genetic engineering recommended. Recombinant DNA, the purified recombinant hormone, has promise for persons with chronic renal failure who develop anemia because of a lack of erythropoietin. Survival of the red blood cells in the circulation depends upon the continuous utilization of glucose for the production of energy. Two chemical pathways are employed, and both are essential for the normal life of the red blood cells. An extraordinary number of enzyme system participates in this reaction and direct the energy evolved into appropriate uses. Red cells contain neither a nucleus nor RNA ribonucleic acid necessary for protein synthesis so that cell division mitosis and production of new protein are impossible. Energy is not necessary for oxygen and carbon dioxide transport, which depends principally on the properties of hemoglobin. Energy, however, is needed for another reason, because of the tendency for extracellular sodium to leak into the red cell and for potassium to leak out. Energy is required to operate a pumping machi mechanism machine in the red cell's membrane to maintain the normal gradients. Differences in concentration of these ions. Energy is also required to convert methemoglobin to oxyhemoglobin and to prevent the oxidation of another constitutes of the red blood cells.